Well, fatty liver is exactly what it sounds. It's fat in the liver. Now, it's caused by many different things. The, the issue is overweight. You can get fatty liver from having high cholesterol, diabetes, prediabetes, or insulin resistance. You can get it from alcohol, and also there's some drugs that cause fatty liver. Fat gets into the liver and clogs the liver in a simple term that prevents it from doing the functions that it needs to do. And it can lead to inflammation in the liver. Not everybody with fatty liver has inflammation in the liver, but about 5 to 20 percent, some studies will show up to 30 percent, can have an inflammatory response in the liver that then causes scarring of the liver. It can cause cirrhosis and sometimes liver cancer. Fatty liver is the marker for coronary vascular disease. In fact, I worry about cirrhosis, but the thing that kills most people with fatty liver is coronary vascular disease. We look for underlying causes of fatty liver, such as diabetes. Someone may know they have diabetes or they don't know they have diabetes, and we find it occultly as we look for it. Uh, other things can be insulin resistance, where your fasting blood sugars are normal, but when you look a little deeper, their insulin levels are high and are not handling their sugars correctly. A sign of this can be if you're starting to gain weight. People with fatty liver can just be obese. They eat too much and they gain weight, they can have metabolic syndrome, which is a combination of high blood pressure, high triglyceride, a large round figure with a big waist circumference. Uh, these are things that we look for and, and can treat. The interesting thing about fatty liver is that you can take charge of yourself and you can get rid of it yourself. You can treat yourself. We don't always have to use medications to treat fatty liver, although we do. But the mainstay is really diet and exercise. So if you do exercise, especially vigorous exercise, raising the heart rate above 120 for 30 minutes a day, three times a week, decreases not only the fatty liver, but also the amount of fibrosis you might form in your liver. Uh, diet, of course, is very important. So we want to work on low cholesterol diet. If you have insulin resistance, you can do an anti-diabetic diet. Weight loss is important, so you want to lose weight. 12% of your body weight loss will help get rid of the fat in your liver. So you can take charge of this disease and treat yourself.